The development of the BTR-4 eight-wheeled armored personnel carrier originally started as an internal project at the Kharkiv Morozov Machine Building Design Bureau, KMDB, located in Ukraine. Established in 1927, KMDB remains operational today as a state-owned company focused on military equipment manufacturing, specializing in heavy vehicles such as armored personnel carriers and main battle tanks. Throughout the Cold War, Ukraine was part of the Soviet Union, and KMDB was tasked with producing Soviet tanks, including iconic ones like the T-34 medium tank from World War II and the highly regarded T-54 series. Over the years, the Bureau also undertook the production of various tank models, including the T-64, T-80, and T-84. Therefore, the BTR-4 draws clear inspiration from the Soviet-slash-Russian line of BTR-8 wheeled armored carriers, continuing Ukraine's recent trend of developing indigenous military equipment and weaponry to maintain as much independence as possible. First unveiled in June 2006, the BTR-4 commenced production in 2008, with initial deliveries to the Ukrainian army starting in 2009. The BTR-4 is designed as a modular battlefield system capable of accommodating various weaponry modules and fulfilling multiple mission roles without significant modifications to the basic chassis. This feature enhances its versatility, making it a cost-effective, multifunctional asset on the battlefield. The BTR-4 closely resembles the Cold War-era Soviet BTR vehicle designs in its external appearance. It features eight large road wheels, four on each side of the hull, providing excellent ground clearance. Each suspended wheel is paired along individual axles, with the front pair steerable via an automobile-style steering wheel. The front of the hull boasts a nearly flat glassy plate with a sloped windscreen and thick vision blocks for the driver's visibility. The lower forward hull is sloped downward to aid in navigating cross-country terrain and offer basic ballistics protection. The vehicle sides angle inward toward the centerline, while the flat roof accommodates optional weapons packages, troop entry-slash-exit hatches, and various communication and field equipment. The base hull is amphibious, equipped with two integrated water jets at the rear for traversing deep water sources. Crew protection is enhanced with a standard fire suppression system and NBC, nuclear, biological, chemical, suite. Additional armor blocks can be installed for point defense against enemy missiles and projectiles. Navigation is supported by a TIUSNM satellite navigation system, an inertial navigation support system, and the SN-3003 series basalt portable satellite navigation support system. Night vision capability and a target illuminator are also included. One of the most notable differences in the Ukrainian approach to their BTR compared to the Soviet version is the relocation of the power plant to the middle of the hull, which allows for the addition of a passenger area at the rear of the vehicle. The BTR-4 is essentially divided into three main internal compartments, the front driving compartment, the central engine compartment, and the rear fighting compartment. Unlike Soviet versions, which place their engines at the rear, requiring occupants to enter and exit the vehicle along the sides, the Ukrainian design follows a more contemporary approach seen in APCs, AFVs, and IFVs worldwide. This design allows the vehicle's hull to shield passengers when entering or exiting from the rear, mitigating risks, particularly under enemy fire. The BTR-4 is powered by a single KMDB 3TD two-stroke, diesel-fueled engine generating 500 horsepower, with a 600 horsepower version also available, driving all eight wheels for true 8x8 action. For customers with specific preferences, the original KMDB engine can be replaced with a Deutz EPO 3 Series 4-stroke, diesel-fueled engine, offering an output ranging from 498 to 598 horsepower. The BTR-4 series offers a modular armaments package that can be customized to meet the specific requirements of customers or missions, thereby determining the variant type. The standard configuration includes a turreted 30mm autocannon paired with a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun. Moreover, the armament setup can be augmented with up to four anti-tank guided missile ATGM, launchers, supporting missiles such as the 9P-135M, Conkers, or Barrier. Alternatively, one or two of these launchers can be replaced with a 30mm automatic grenade launcher, enhancing the vehicle's capability for suppressing enemy infantry using high-explosive, he, grenades. The core crew of the basic BTR-4 consists of three personnel, the driver, the vehicle commander, and a dedicated gunner located in the powered turret. Additionally, the vehicle can accommodate up to eight passengers in the spacious passenger compartment. 
In its dedicated BAU-23 by 2 air defense configuration, the BTR-4 system is equipped with two 23 by 115 mm automatic cannons primarily intended for engaging low-flying aircraft in close defense scenarios. This armament is complemented by a 7.62 mm coaxial machine gun and accommodates a crew of three, along with eight passengers. The command vehicle variant, designated as the BTR-4KSH, is outfitted with additional communications equipment and is armed with a single 12.7mm TKB-01-1 heavy machine gun for self-defense purposes. The crew for this variant consists of seven personnel, including the driver, vehicle commander, and relevant mission specialists. A notable variant of the BTR-4 is the MOP-4K fire support vehicle, which features a turreted 120mm main gun to counter threats from enemy tank systems. Additionally, the vehicle is equipped with a 12.7mm heavy machine gun mounted on a trainable ring on the turret roof. In this configuration, the BTR-4 functions as a mobile tank destroyer with limited armor protection. The crew comprises four personnel, the driver, vehicle commander, gunner, and an ammunition handler. Other variants within the BTR-4 family include the BREM, 4K Battlefield Repair and Recovery Vehicle, the BSEM, 4K Medical Vehicle designed to accommodate litters and medical equipment, and the BRM, 4K Dedicated Reconnaissance Platform equipped with additional communications gear for reconnaissance missions. As of now, the BTR-4 is primarily operated by the armies of Ukraine and Iraq. Iraq, in particular, has recently procured around 420 vehicles to bolster its mechanized forces, which were severely depleted following the 2003 American invasion. However, delivery of the order commenced in late 2013, but quality issues with the vehicles resulted in the cancellation of the order after only 88 BTR-4s were delivered. In 2012, the government of Kazakhstan placed an order for 100 vehicles, while the Indonesian military has ordered 55 units to be deployed within its army and marine corps.